Hello, I'm going to do the idiot's guide on how to use a rotor faden for English people. Right, what you do is you, one second, be two seconds, not even that probably. Okay. Anyway, my idiot's guide to the rotor faden. See these clips? You just lift them up, okay? Lift, lift, then you get your A5 notebook or A6 or A4, whichever size road fader you have. You put road fader down, put the paper down, have it so that the folds in the middle of the clips like this, clip them down in the middle. Obviously, line it up. So then, look, how you see, you've got the clips in the middle. Fold the book, done, and then you just close it. And you're done, and your notebook is clipped into your road fading. In my road fading, I can have up to three notebooks at a time. I've got another two here to show you quickly. Let me just. Da -da -da, da -da -da. I'm going to put all three in, then I'm going to show you something else. So that was my little cat on my desk, a desk cat. Oh, oh no, I've got it all confused, there we go, I couldn't get the clip, I accidentally used one clip, right, there you go, so, as you can see I have three notebooks in my row to fade in, right, and then you get a random piece of paper, what do you do with a piece of paper, why do you put this A4 piece of paper, you know, it's an A4 piece of paper, you need to put it somewhere so you don't lose it, so what you do is you open up your row to fade in, right, you either go to the middle of a book or you find it somewhere, you lift up the clips, okay? Then you put the piece of paper down. How it folds, obviously, because otherwise it's. I'm not sure you put it down, you clip it down, and then it's done. Then it's in there. Look, no paper falls out. It's amazing, isn't it? So that is the idiot's guide on how to use the rotor fading. I hope you've enjoyed it. I love my little rotor fading. And that was the video. So have a nice day. Bye.